According to the news outlet France 24, three soldiers have been apprehended in Burkina Faso on charges of plotting against the ruling junta, as confirmed by the country's military prosecutor on Friday. In a statement, the military prosecutor stated that investigators received information last month about soldiers and former soldiers working in intelligence who were involved in surveilling the residences and other locations frequented by key figures in the junta, including Captain Ibrahim Traore, a prominent figure in the ruling regime. The objective of these individuals was to destabilize the transition, which refers to the interim military governance preceding the promised elections. Following the investigations, the three soldiers were arrested and have been ordered to be held in custody by an examining magistrate. Major Alphonse Zoma, the military prosecutor, revealed that the soldiers have been charged with various offenses, including participation in a military plot, violation of military orders, conspiracy against state security, criminal association, and endangerment. The soldiers involved are identified as Warrant Officer Windin Malek Kobo, Sergeant Bryce Ismail Ramda, and former Corporal Sami Daw, who had previously been convicted for involvement in a plot against the state in 2015. Zoma stated, they unequivocally admitted the facts, indicating that the soldiers have confessed to their actions. We appreciate your support as viewers and supporters. If you'd like to support us and enable us to produce more content like this, please click the link in the video description to the Buy Me A Coffee website and leave us a tip or by using the super thanks option you find beneath the video. Your contribution will assist us in continuing to provide informative content on Think Rich Africa. Thank you for being a part of our community and now back to the full story. Burkina Faso, a poor Sahel state, has experienced significant instability since gaining independence from France in 1960, initially known as the Republic of Upper Volta. Last year, the country faced two coups, both driven by military discontent over the devastating impact of an ongoing jihadist insurgency. Captain Ibrahim Traore assumed power on September 30, 2022, at the age of just 34, becoming the world's youngest non-royal leader. Traore's ascension followed the removal of Colonel Paul Henri Sandiogo Damaba, who had overthrown Burkina Faso's elected president, Rockmark Christian Cabot, a little over eight months earlier. Shortly after Traore took control, military prosecutors announced in December that there had been an attempt to destabilize state institutions involving civilians and a lieutenant colonel named Emmanuel Zungrana. According to the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project, ACLID, an NGO monitoring organization, over 16,000 civilians, soldiers, and police have lost their lives in Burkina Faso since the commencement of the jihadist insurgency in neighboring Mali in 2015. This crisis has also forced more than 2 million individuals to flee their homes, resulting in one of Africa's most severe instances of internal displacement. Captain Traore has pledged to restore democracy in Burkina Faso and hold presidential elections by July of 2024.